From the SBS TV studios at Riley High School, Michiana's award-winning student news team, this is Election 2020. Hello everyone, I'm Cooper Van Dries, Chief Political Analyst for SBS TV, and I want to thank you for joining us today. I'd like to get right into breaking news. For those of you wondering, we still do not have a presidential winner. But let's look at the current electoral map. Right now, this is the map that major news organizations are using. As you can see, there are the key battleground states are Nevada, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Georgia. Now, what I'm looking at here is Wisconsin is going to flip Biden as well as Michigan. Um, I'm not saying Nevada is going to flip that way because it is less than 8,000 votes away. We have breaking news into our newsroom right now. Donald Trump has called a recount in Wisconsin. This is key. This is huge because if he wins the state, he will win the election. As you can see, it says 270 to 268, and that is just two points away. It's the road to 270. It's going to be a very close election. Now, I, I want to focus on more than just the presidential election. I also want to look at some of the local elections in Indiana. Jackie Walorski, the, incum the incumbent congresswoman for the Indiana 2nd con Congressional District, has won re-election over Democratic challenger Pat Hackett. Walorski had 65% compared to Hackett's 35% of the vote. Now let's move into the, on to the governor's race. It was a huge margin of victory for Governor Eric Holcomb. The incumbent governor has won re-election into his second term. The percentage of vote, um, Holcomb got 57.3% of the vote, Myers got 30.5%, and Rainwater got 12.2%. This keeps the, the Indiana in Republican hands. It has been in Republican hands for quite a long time before Holcomb. Now Vice President Mike Pence was the governor of our state. Now there are some major races that could change the way the House votes. The House is currently controlled by Democrats, and it's looking to stay that way. Nancy Pelosi will keep control of the House with her Democratic Party, but they lost several seats last night, and there are still polls coming in, so it could be losing a lot more seats, too. Now, a race I want to look at is Lindsey Graham in South Carolina. His opponent, Jamie Harrison, received over $103 million in campaign money used to advertise, but Graham won. Graham beat him by close to 12%. The, correct, the actual numbers are 55% to 43.7%. That is a huge margin to defeat, considering that Graham got next to no campaign money to Harrison's 43.7%. Now, we also saw this happen in Maine, but Maine has not been called yet. We saw Se uh, Senator Susan Collins, the lady who voted no on Justice Barrett, and go up against her opponent. And she is currently winning 51%. 0.1% to her opponents, 42.3. SBS TV is going to give her that win there and keep her in, in the Senate. Now, what I am thinking is that she voted no on the Democrat for, um, excuse me, Justice Barrett because she was trying to get those Democratic voters to be on her side. Again, the seat should say with the Democrats in the House, but will turn to the Republicans in the Senate. Now, I want to take a look at the, at the Republican race one last time before we leave for the Republican race for the president. As I said earlier, Trump has called a recount in Wisconsin. This is huge. It could change the way America votes. Now, what I also want to show you guys is that the 270 is not true. It's actually Biden has 238 electoral votes compared to Trump's 213. Now, it says 214 up there because I have, as of right now, um, District 2 in Maine is leaning Trump, so I'm giving him that one ex electoral vote. But other than that, everything is compared to every other national news organization at the minute. We have not heard a call since early this morning, but as part of SBS TV, I am calling Alaska, that is Alaska, for Donald Trump. That brings his total to 216 to 238. Biden's still in the lead, but again, it's the road to 270. We are, this is the, we've reached the conclusion of Buzz in the Bend election update. On behalf of SBS TV, I'd like to thank you guys for joining us. As always, remember to click that subscribe button and tap the bell icon to get notifications every time there's a new post on SBS TV. Until then, thank you and good luck, America.